So let's get started. Number one is your grip. You want to have an Eastern backhand grip. And what that looks like is that the underside of my index finger knuckle and the middle of the heel pad want to be on the top bevel. So I'm just gonna go ahead, place those there. And if I'm swinging forward as I'm making contact, you do wanna see the knuckles here. And you see that my racket is perfectly squared up to the camera right now. Other checkpoints are, Number one, of course, I always start with a split step and an athletic ready position. Number two is my left hand is very active in helping me prepare for that shot. So you see that my left hip, my left shoulder are coming back. I'm looking over my right shoulder. And when I did learn my one-hander, it was literally touch that chin to my right shoulder because now I'm perfectly lined up. My body weight is on my outside foot and I'm using my outside leg to gauge the distance between me and the ball. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to really get that outside leg behind the incoming ball so that I can then stride off my left foot and really get into that ball here, creating this transfer of body weight. My contact point wants to be out in front of my center of gravity, ideally between shoulder and hip. And then on my follow through, I do like to use my left hand as a counterbalance so that I'm not rotating around, um, which might be something that a lot of people see when you see Federer, Varinka, Justina Na was extreme in this. But the reason why they're doing that is because they create so much power and they need that as a just usual part of their swing, whereas we as rack players are not creating as much pop. So I don't teach this extreme opening up. If you open up too soon, you're just ending up um, shanking a lot of ball. So I'm really trying to extend through the ball. And of course, I'm going to let my left hip come through as I rotate over the ball. And that comes more from my wrist and my entire arm. All right, so I'm trying not to just rip around here and block myself. So it's all coming from the legs. And I'm using my left arm to create that counterbalance. So I'm gonna hit a few balls so you can see it from the side. All right, I'm also going to hit a couple of back ends here from the back perspective. So you see it from that angle. I'm going to work on the same things. I'm going to work to keep that ball between my hip and my shoulder. And I'm also going to try to really, really heavily engage my outside leg so I can stride in and create power that way. And for me, actually, a little bit more important, control. Because if I can't keep the ball in play, it doesn't matter how hard I can hit it. So let's take a look. So last angle, I'm gonna tape this from the front so you see it from this perspective too. And here we go. 